Lovely. Uh, when you're ready, drive on and just follow the road ahead. And good luck. We'll start your mock test from here. Okay. Left. Just follow the road, yeah, to, to the left, yeah, thank you. See, there's a few learners stuck to the left. Quite normal for the examiners to ask us to pull up somewhere here. Mm. They may also ask you to pull up further down there as well. And that's mm. what I'm going to ask us to do. So, I'd like you to pull up in a convenient place on the left, please. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now we're going to start the independent drive when you're ready and it's safe. Drive on and follow the sat nav, please. Thank okay. you. You will arrive at your destination at 3.07 p.m. I need to learn not to like turn. I'm glad you picked up on that though. Yeah, because yeah. that's what I did wrong the last time in my test. It's like I panicked and the road was tiny in a straight forward. So I was like, why am I turning? A reason can be that some people lean when they drive as well, mm. and that pressure can be just on one side of the wheel. So sometimes that might be a reason. Mm. At the end of the road, turn right, B472 Joel Street. Turn right. Nice defensive driving from the lorry that moved away with no signal. Right, he didn't have a signal, right? After 300 yards. Oh, thank God, because go I was like, oh my God, did I like. And take the first the exit, not A404. For the I didn't see any signal. There was just a guy and got a road. Yeah, I mean, in their defense, I think they did a little bit of checking, but yeah, there was no signal. Yeah. Well done from you. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong, you avoided the accident, so it's good. <laughs> Defensive driving. If he was on the test, he would have got fit. Yes, so I didn't have to yeah. I'm sure they're probably a bit stricter on the lorry drivers as well because yeah, you know, it's no huge. jokes. Yeah. Like if that was an accident, that would be finished. God forbid. 
we have the sat nav, but sometimes the examiners ask us to follow signs, so just to point out the signs here for people at home. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A404, the road. After 200 yards, turn right, Addison Way. Turn right. After 200 yards, turn left, Emmanuel Road. Turn left. is just slow down a little you see the car stay in the middle of the road and just come up to the silver car mm -hmm. and stop somewhere next to the silver car in the middle of the road here lovely thank you very much sometimes examiners will do this on the move if it's very quiet straight into the reverse park maneuver so take your time let's have any questions i just like to reverse park just here on the left okay behind the silver car cool <clears throat> this helps but it shows you where the rules are pointing so as you turn the steering wheel you'll see those move yeah all right i'm happy for you to finish here very nice parking thank you if you'd like to reverse a bit more before you move off whatever otherwise just drive on when you're ready and continue to follow set nav okay cool Oh, got 
Okay. okay, there's no one here, so it's nice that we always do it, but in the event that there's no one around, okay. we wouldn't necessarily need it. So but that's would, okay. that, would I get marked down? No, you wouldn't get marked down at all. No one would have benefited from the signal. So okay. I use this language because this is the language that the examiners use. So that if someone would benefit, we must signal. Okay. If no one would benefit, okay. it's okay. At the end of the road, turn right, A4125, High Street, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Northwood Way. Okay, you're better safe than sorry. That's a good slogan. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. For the driving test especially. Yeah. Come on. Okay, we still okay. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Not yet, not yet, not yet. And then so After 100 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A4125, Northwood Way. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Again, just for people at home, the next sign's behind the tree. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, Watford Road. All these roundabouts, man. Right. Incorrect. Oh. Correct. Okay. The best way to tell though. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Don't rely on the technology as another probably good thing to take away from people at home. I was half expecting I was, ready. <laughs> I was like, hey, we're in a now. That's nice. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, Just in case someone wants to use this um, care home. Yeah, drive. Yeah. I'm trying to like do an experiment where I see if I'm a better driver without my ADHD medication or with it. Oh, right. Okay. So, I think you'd probably be better without it, but yeah. I don't know for sure. I don't know. The last two guess. times I I failed my test, I was on medication, and it was giving me a whole lot of anxiety. So I can't do it now. Seems to be doing fine today. I can tell you're nervous, but you seem to be doing fine. So just stay focused. It will always be a nerve-wracking experience. I don't know if I told you the story about the guy that said that people... This is red, right? Yes, it is, yeah. And that is more important than my story. Is the most important part about a temporary traffic light. That red sign just here that says, wait here. So, I waited, right? Yes. So sometimes people will only see the traffic light, yeah. not the sign. Yeah, and then I might like stop over there and there's a car coming out. Yeah, crazy. and that's, um, that's Sorry. serious. <laughs> What was the story? No, the story was the guy said that, you know, he's had scary experiences in his life. And he is a big 
you know, burly lad, if you like, stereotypical kind of mm. guy. And um, he was shaking when he was talking. <laughs> this guy is so scary. Oh my god, I was so anxious on my like. So everybody's nervous. I think that's part of why I got why I like. It's usually the leading reason. Yeah. So I'm glad that you said you wanted to do mock tests, like straight out mock tests, yeah. because I find it builds that pressure. Cameras are on, pressure's on, so you adjust to that pressure gradually, and that should help for the driving test. Yeah. yeah and I like the little experiment that you're doing as well. Yeah. See how that goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. I was like, oh, maybe I need medication because it'll make me easier to focus. So I'm like, actually, you know what? Like I said, I'm not a doctor, I can't give any kind of... No, I, I get you, advice. but it's my experiment, so I'm like, I can like, probably like, figure it out. And yeah, feedback wise, yeah. everything's brilliant. Deep breaths, I find, can be useful to help lower the heart rate as well, just a few deep breaths. After 200 yards, turn right, B4542, the woods. This is where I like when I need to write the dead end. That was the thing. And then I have to like come out. He was like, what's going on? Turn right. Smiley faces, that's what we'd like to see. Show us how to wash the rear window. Sure. Thank you. Did that do it? Yes, it did. Yeah. Water and wiper. The water bit's quite important. Sometimes people just accidentally put the wipers and the examiner will ask. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. B4542 Little Oxay Lane. <sighs> Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Good, no exit signal necessary, not enough time. Way more important, we can keep control of the steering. Yeah. So, in those situations, no need to signal for the exit. Well done. Good roundabout. Okay, we did do our maneuver, so I'm just going to.
mention it just for people at home. We're going to have some more signs later as well. Uh, that there is a car park coming up that the examiners sometimes ask us to go into. I think we've been there before. It's a swimming pool car park. So we're going to drive past it, but I'll just point it out for people at home. And you might maybe remember if you've been in there before. So it's the next road, but don't go there. Just follow the road ahead. But it's this next road. That's where the swimming pool is, and that's where the car park is. that one up and I did commentary on it on the channel. I don't know, but it was my test. So um, yeah, I think probably. I might have, I can't remember. Actually, I don't know if um, the dash cam was on that day. I've done a few of those. Yeah, I can't, no, it wouldn't have been because I would have seen it and I would have remembered the road you're talking about. So, no, unfortunately not. Sometimes After 300 yards, turn right, A4008, Oxhaley. And just people at home, signs again coming up. If you were asked to follow the signs from now on, this will take us all the way back to the test centre on all the roundabouts that you said that you wanted to practice again, mm -hmm. where the bus lane is, etc. Mm -hmm. um, then the signs will say pin up. So all the signs will say pin up. Okay. Good move of checks. Turn right. A4008, Oxay Lane. I think this is exactly the road that I went to. And the scenario you said was they asked you to pull up, right? Yeah, I think on one of the roads, probably not that one, maybe I'm lying, but it was a really small road. Yeah, and they do like that. I said, I mm -hmm. remembered like the course I like turned. Back to the road, um, we'll have a roundabout to coming 300 up. yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A4008, Oxay Lane. The examiners will instruct us to use the right lane as you approach the roundabout, so use the right lane. Cross the roundabout safe. and take the second exit. Tracks. Am I right supposed to indicate out? No. Right, because it's, two, it's a small line of yes. 12 minute line of Yeah, way more yeah. safer for us to keep Just control. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Also, because it's so small, yeah. by the time we put the signal on, yeah, we're already in. Yeah.
After 400 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. Third. Yeah, I sounded like it, but yeah, so third. Turning right. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Take the exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. Oh, that ocean. Oops. Oh, this is the bus lane one. Ah, damn. We meet again. It's good when you go over the same routes a couple of times, yeah. right? My spirit checks as well. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A404, Duxbridge Road. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. That's the end of the independent drive. Just continue to follow the road ahead and I'll give us the direction for the remainder of the test. Almost back.
signals will give the direction at this traffic light or just before this traffic light. So follow the road ahead at the traffic lights, then we're going to have two roundabouts. First roundabout straight, second roundabout turn left. And your best way to say this, always go this way back to the test centre. So it's quite an important one to remember straight and left, but the examiners will tell you. Yeah, and you always I've go done this way. one so many times. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's on all the videos. Yeah. <laughs> Skip to the end, you'll see it. Yeah, done it so many times. A mock straight. test, but if you see the arrow, yes, you're correct. Yes. Just take the next road on the right, please. Take the next right, we'll be back to where we started. Test centre. Don't know if there's any spaces available. Oh, I know why. Because of school. Mm. Right, um, hmm. This is actually quite important to mention. You see how the doors just like fly open and stuff like that? Yeah. So it's not really yeah. the kids that I'm worried about when I go past the schools, yeah. So just be careful with the parents. Oh, is it because the schools are on that? Correct, yeah. So we'll drive past it. I was hoping to stop here, but it's no spaces. Well done. So just take your time and just follow the road. No stop, it's gonna be so full though. It's horrible, yeah. And there's gonna be kids around. Good with your speed, especially when we can't see. This all happens on my road all the time and they just like park in my street and I'm like what are you doing? Like I get that you need to pick up the kids but Okay there's parking in there Yeah I'll tell you what Because we've come this far let's just keep going So if you just take <laughs> us to the end of the road <laughs> And then the petrol station Yeah Just get to put it in there Okay 
Okay. Awesome. I was tempted to do what you were saying. Yeah. But then I thought, no, it's just going to annoy the residents and everyone's going to do. Because there was a little side road going yeah. around your bit. Yeah. I thought, no, nah, I'm not getting in there. It's just going to. So it was good going past the school there. Good use of speed, yeah? Yeah. Calm down, cover speeding, maybe kids. Anticipation, yeah. Do you go into this way? Or? Yes. Yeah, so just this uh, entrance. Lovely mirrors. And then just keep it left like a U turn. So left and left again around this cone. Thank you. We're going to go into the back where the cars are. Right, see the Range Rover over there? There's a gap. Yeah. Go in that gap just next to the Range Rover for us, please. We could drive inwards. Yeah. No Is rush. there somebody? No, someone locking their car. It just makes sometimes they got a setting. And it beeps. I can't. You could just edge forward slowly. I think she's parking up. Yeah, we need to move out of the way for them. No rush, take your time. Just take it nice and gentle. You're doing absolutely fine. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just stop here. Thank you. And just secure the car. Oh, well done. And you'll know the real test is over, and your mock test if you like, when we push the power button. Everything after that doesn't count. So let's push the power button. Congratulations, you have passed. Well done. Have I actually? Um, yes, you have. What pointers yes. have you got for me? So I know you got some pointers. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, two are for the same thing and another two are for the same thing mm -hmm. um so the clearance was at the beginning and the end oh, my damn clearance. so it was before the oh. school bit the school mm -hmm. bit was really nice clearance there uh we were when the car was coming in yeah it was um, like coming at me you know the double roundabouts the ones that you said you've done this yeah, so yeah. many time yeah, yeah, yeah just after you finished the second roundabout that road you got cars on the left yeah, part, and it pushes And it was us. a small. Yes. And there was. Yeah, is that the road you were thinking of? I don't know. It was like kind of like a bridge almost. Yes, just yeah. before the bridge. Yeah, so yeah. then went to come in. Yeah, we just got a bit close to the parked car. Oh, that's all. Yeah, I did see you look at the A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. no, I did, I did see you. Um, not enough for me to want to touch the wheel or anything, yeah, yeah. but get in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what we've got to think of, not so much in this car, but for a regular car, yeah. mirror and mirror. Sometimes yeah. the mirror and mirror might get like a that, little bit that close. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So an inch maybe or two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um. So be careful of that. And at the beginning of the test, we're a little bit too far away from the other. You're yeah. gonna smack me now. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, just one incident's a little too far. One incident's a little bit too close. Like I said, nothing serious. Yeah. Okay. Just something to look out for. Okay. Um. The signals came up a little bit as well. So two yeah. for the signals. Uh. When we were passing just before the um bus lane roundabout remember you said you remember that oh you said oh there's the bus lane yeah yeah so you yeah, yeah. that roundabout yeah and then the one before it yeah yeah those two we were going straight yeah first one we put a right signal on yeah don't need the right signal yeah. for going straight you just need one exiting if you can yeah. yes yes and then the second one i think we put the left one on too early or something yeah. like that so Maybe. just a little bit of confusion yeah. to signals yeah, yeah. In my brain, I was saying at Pinner Driving Test Centre, in capital letters, um, don't signal for the exit on the roundabouts. Really? They're all small roundabouts. Are you sure? Uh, just that big one, the, the one big, big one, yeah. Um, but if you can do it, but if you yeah. you know the steering, because yeah. they're small, you won't yeah. need it. Okay. Um, and also, if you're going straight, 12 o'clock in a roundabout, yeah. don't signal. Yeah. So really. What about a big roundabout? With the big roundabout. No, no signal. So really? for for the on big, exit. for the beginning. On an exit. Or? You wouldn't need that, but for the exit yeah. you would on yeah. a big okay. roundabout. Okay. Yeah. Got you. The last driver fault, pretty easy to explain. Remember after the bus lane roundabout? Yeah. You go up the hill, you come down the hill. Yeah, yeah. Because we were going down the hill. Yeah. The car gained speed. Yeah. It went to thirty-three miles an hour, yeah. which is ten percent, which yeah. is okay. It's yeah. Minor. Okay. I can't say that's law because it's not. Yeah. But yeah. generally, we're given leeway on the test. Yeah. So you saw that you put the brake on reasonably firmly, yeah. and you slowed the car down quite instantly. Yeah. 
So you reacted to yeah, that, yeah. and you did that quite quickly, so yeah. that's nice. So okay. just not minor for that, okay? okay? Nothing significant. Any questions? No, I passed. Yeah. I hope it's a real one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to keep this going now, yeah? Yeah, I need to just keep going, yeah. All right. yeah. I'm not going to lie, I do feel a bit more confident. I'm like, this time... Anyways, we won't take into existence. You don't want to drink what? I don't want to drink it, yeah. I, half of me is kind of wide like that still. Yeah. But the other half says, talk it into existence. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I'm like, mm, we'll see. You don't match the feeling to it, though. So if you're feeling yes. anxious when you're saying that, all yeah. right, you can still say it. But if you feel good when you say that, yeah. that means yeah. you're, you're in there, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I feel, I feel more confident mm. behind the wheel. Mm. Even though it's like nerve wracking, I agree. Yeah. I mean, at the beginning. Seen, Calm ish, yeah. you know, it's gonna your heart will be yeah, racing. I feel like I'm actually like you're there, you're in yeah, the moment. I'm already driving, like I'm already a driver. That's what it feels like. It feels like second Good. nature almost. Good, well, it's getting there anyway. Yeah, it's also. the experience. Yeah, 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 stay there. Yeah, oh. all right, guys, till next time, then we'll see you then. Bye bye. bye guys.